Kapalogan, officially the city of Kapalogan, is the capital of the province of Samar, Philippines. According to the 2020 census, it has a population of 106,440 people. It is Samar's main commercial, trading, educational, financial and political center. The city is the gateway to the region's three Samar provinces. Kapalogan's patron saint is Street. Bartholomew the Apostle whose feast day is August 24. The Philippine Army's 8th Infantry Division is based at Camp General Vicente Lupin, Barangay Malong, Kapalogan City. The camp is named in honor of General Vicente Lupin, a Filipino officer in general. Emilio Aguinaldo's staff during the Philippine Revolution and the Politico-Military Chief of Samar and Leyte during the Philippine-American War. 2016 stamp dedicated to the 400th anniversary of Kapalogan Kapalogan was founded in October 1596 by Spanish Jesuit priests and became the capital of the entire island of Samar. Friar Francisco de Otazo, S.J., who arrived in the Philippines in 1596, founded the Kapalogan Mission and was thus the first missionary to bring the Catholic faith to the people of Kapalogan. In 1627, Kapalogan was raised to the status of residencia and among its dependencies were Piranhas where in 1629 Father Pedro Estrada actively evangelized the area and Calbiga where he took white rocks or grey limestone to use as building blocks for its church. The church has some arc-like stone roof that was pasted together to dry on each block, giving an arching force to the side. On October 17, 1768, Kapalogan was ceded to the Franciscans who took over from the Jesuits. The first Franciscan parish priest was Fray José Feo, OFM. During the early days of Spanish colonization of the Philippines in the 16th century, Samar was under the jurisdiction of Cebu but later was declared a separate province. In 1735, Samar and Leyte were united into one province with Caragara, in Leyte, as the capital. The union, however, did not prove satisfactory. In 1768, Kapalogan became the provincial capital when Samar separated from Leyte and became an independent province. On December 31, 1898, during the Philippine Revolution, General Vicente Lupin arrived in Kapalogan and put Samar under his jurisdiction. On January 27, 1900, the Americans captured Kapalogan during the Philippine-American War. On June 17, 1902, a provincial civil government was established on Samar Island by an act of the Philippine Commission with Julio Llorente of Cebu as the first governor of Samar. On May 24, 1942, during World War II, Japanese forces landed in Barrio Pangdon early morning and occupied the capital. On December 18, 1945, American and Filipino forces liberated Kotbalogan from the Japanese. In 1948, the barrios of Jayabong, John, Molino, San Fernando, Casapa, Camoraboan, Lalajayan, Magabitas, Pagaliogan, Dogongan, Bayog, and Malabago were separated to form the municipality of Jayabong. On June 19, 1965, the Philippine Congress, along with the province's three congressmen, Eladio T. Belite, Fernando R. Veloso and Felipe J. Abrigo, approved Republic Act No. 4,221 dividing Samar into three provinces, namely Western Samar, Eastern Samar, and Northern Samar, respectively. Kapalogan thus ceased to be the capital of the whole island province after enjoying the prestige of being the premier town of Samar for 197 years since 1768. On June 21, 1969, under Republic Act No. 5,650, Western Samar was renamed Samar with Kapalogan remaining as the capital. The greatest calamities to occur in Kapalogan were big fires. The April 1, 1957 conflagration, considered as the most destructive one, caused damage to properties in the amount of 30 million pesos. The next was on May 19, 1969, where damage was estimated at 20 million pesos and the more than century-old St. Bartholomew Roman Catholic Church was razed to the ground. Paradoxically, like the proverbial phoenix, each time Kapalogan suffered under the throes of these calamities, better buildings and infrastructures emerged from the ashes. As early as 1960, Kapalogan already agitated to become a city. In 1969, Rep. Fernando P. Veloso sponsored House Bill No. 1867 creating Kapalogan into a city. The bill was being deliberated in the Philippine Senate, but the blaze of 1969 unfortunately caused it to be shelved. Subsequent efforts were made by Kapalogan political leaders, including former Representative Catalino V. Figueroa, during his term. 
To make Kapalogan cityhood dream a reality despite strong and rabid opposition by the League of Cities of the Philippines. Particularly Kapalogan City's neighboring Kalbayog under the administration of Mayor Melson and Sarmiento. On March 15, 2007, Kapalogan finally attained its cityhood. Under the sponsorship of Senator Alfredo S. Lim and by virtue of Republic Act No. 9391, Kapalogan was converted into a component city known as the City of Kapalogan following a unanimous vote by the Philippine Senate. Senator Manuel Villar Jr., Congressman Jose de Venecia Jr., Oscar G. Yavis, Roberto P. Nazarino and Gloria Macapagal Arroyo were among its signatories. The residents of Kapalogan overwhelmingly ratified this change through a cum-like plebiscite on June 16, 2007, with over 92% yes votes for cityhood. However, Kotbalogan temporarily lost its cityhood, along with 15 other cities, after the Supreme Court of the Philippines, in a very close 6-5 vote, granted a petition filed by the League of Cities of the Philippines. And declared the cityhood law which allowed the town to acquire its city status, unconstitutional. On December 10, 2008, Kotbalogan and the other 15 cities affected filed a motion for reconsideration with the court. More than a year later, on December 22, 2009, Acting on said appeal, the court reversed its earlier ruling as it ruled that at the end of the day, the passage of the amendatory law is no different from the enactment of a law, i.e., the cityhood law specifically exempting a particular political subdivision from the criteria earlier mentioned. Congress, in enacting the exempting law s, effectively decreased the already codified indicators. As such, the cityhood status of Kapalogan was effectively restored. On August 23, 2010, the court reinstated its ruling on November 18, 2008, causing Kapalogan and 15 cities to become regular municipalities. Finally, on February 15, 2011, Kapalogan becomes a city again including the 15 municipalities declaring that the conversion to cityhood met all legal requirements. After six years of legal battle, in its board resolution, the League of Cities of the Philippines acknowledged and recognized the cityhood of Kapalogan and 15 other cities. Kapalogan City is politically subdivided into 57 barangays. For decades, Kapalogan City has served as Samar Island's main maritime transport gateway as Inner Island vessels made its port of call at Kapalogan City Seaport before proceeding to Tacloban City. As the advent of land transport became possible, the Inner Island maritime transport slowly ceased to operate. Today, Kapalogan City is a major landport terminal and stopover for inter island bus lines coming and going between Luzon and Mindanao passing through the bridged island of Leyte and Samar. Kapalogan Airport, also known as Buri Airport, is its air access with commercial flights to Cebu. Thanks for watching.